हरि ओम नमस्कार टू ऑल ऑफ यू एस्टरडे समथिंग समबडी को आई ही सेड गुरुजी माय मैरिज हैज बीन फिक्स्ड आई सेड कंग्रेचुलेशंस इन योर लाइफ यू आर मैरिंग द वेरी सेम पर्सन नो होम यू लव्ड about 3 4 years you were in relationship with somebody i i do hope he is the person getting married to you absolutely no guruji my parents have refused since my parents have refused i am going in for a match which they have fixed i said uh, <clears throat> Not happens to your lover. No problem, but he will wait for one year. By the time I will create some problem there, I will divorce this boy. Then my parents will be fed up. Finally, you know, they will allow me to marry the way I want. So for that, this is a stopgap arrangement. <laughs> फलो रूम जी लव for about maybe 3 years 4 years if he is not all right probably he will die as him also see now kids are so smart they don't want to waste their life see one category of people will keep on crying about something happened but now in younger generation they don't keep crying move on they have learned to move on <clears throat> If parents refuse, what is there? They will get married to that fellow, or he will get married to her, whatever it is, male or female. So finally, after that, they can always know if this is not okay. They will quit. of course the other person should give mutual otherwise it's a big long run it's a risky thing it's a, it's a risky to go through like that and parents can very well agree but most of the parents they are still no our relatives will say something this will say something that will say something they themselves are not prepared for it but they will throw the blame on relatives and friends our society people will think otherwise they are not honest enough to say that i don't want this to take place because i don't like this i am against intercaste marriages you can openly say what is it why pull relatives one person was telling me i have an aged father he will be shocked down hearing this it's all drama we just try to pull the x y we are not prepared to acknowledge that We ourselves are not prepared for it. Today, kids are not going to listen to you. They will take decisions. They will take move on. If they have to drop you, also they will drop you to that extent. I don't say what they do is appropriate, but uh, that is the way they are. And today, to even teach the kids, it's very difficult. If their kids are small. You could have taught them. Even then, they are rebellious. Even because at school, so many things are spoken. Somebody was telling me, I am. I uh, know now the kid is very small. I am giving certain things. I don't give certain things. No chocolates, no biscuits, no TV. Okay, how long? Today, if you go to school itself, the teaching methodology has changed. Previously, we used to have big blackboard, and they used to write on the blackboard. Today, you. Have to see a screen. A, a LED screen will be there, and on that everything is explained. 
and the kids are expected today to have tabs and uh, laptops. Today, the methodology of teaching has changed. The mode of imparting education has changed. The education itself has changed. So today, expectations of an educator are totally different from the student. So, if you keep controlling somewhere else, they will get the benefit of that. You think that they won't see TV, they were, they, then they will ask, they, what is that? We were seeing something. Kids will definitely ask, they are very small. So for some time we can do all that. Later, in some schools nowadays, even in India, I don't know about abroad, I think in India they do this, abroad is there, maybe something, I don't know. Nowadays, even afternoon food, morning breakfast, all given by the school authorities itself. Of course, they charge for it, like uh, sending bus to pick up the kids. Uh, even that is fit. So, our uh, because morning they leave by 6 30, 6 o'clock. Where to eat breakfast? That's not the time to eat breakfast. You will have some beverage. Today, entire timing has changed. They cannot eat also, even if you cook. So the school itself provides all that. Okay, today such facilities have come. So parents don't have much opportunity to really serve the kids also. By the time they come in the evening, they will go to tuition. And when they come back, probably they may see one or two some small things in the TV and they will doze off. Because once again morning, six o'clock, they have to leave to the school. So they have to get a but five. Okay. Today, the time they spend at home or this time they spend with parents is very less. <clears throat> okay, most of the time at home will be, they will be sleeping, six hours, seven hours. So parents do not get to know what is going on. They, that's the reason, what is going on in the school, what type of friends, what type of peers, who are the guides for them, nobody knows. Yeah, those days, yes, everything was known because we used to go to school at 9 o'clock. So you used to have something breakfast, something. We used to have brunch, etc., the lunch half. We used to carry food, take it in the afternoon. Evening by the time snacks, we will come back. But today timings have changed. Everything has changed. So <clears throat> the time parents get with the children is very less. So under those circumstances, they are now going to bring up the child. Actually, the brought up is now made by the society, made by the teachers, made by the friends, in the school, all those things. So parents don't have really any say in their brought up. So all along kid grows in such an environment. In fact, not much of love or affection, even to talk a little bit, not possible. Maybe when they are very young, it is possible. Once they come to the school, Especially when they come to the high school and secondary, you don't get much time with them because they are busy with their own subject. And a little bit here and there, we may talk five minutes, ten minutes, not much time. So we do not know what is actually going on and the psyche of the children are also modified. They are upgraded more to the present day situation. But still parents, most of the parents are living in that old age when uh, their parents used to treat them like this, like that, they are living with all that garbage. See, what has happened in your life is already gone, it's over. So whether it can be blindly applied today is something, is a very big question mark. Okay. Whether we can really apply it today, we don't know. Whether it is workable, even if you apply it, whether it will be workable, whether it will be successful for the children. Children themselves have that doubt. They themselves have that doubt. <laughs> this will be workable or not. So, added to that, we have so many problems today, abuses and uh, physical abuse, then other abuses, even the kids abuse. Today we hear about a lot of substance abuse. So many abuses are there. <clears throat> so it looks like, you know, some potluck. If your kid is all right, it's a big thing today. You can either condition the kid today. 
because you do not know also what is going on there. Even if you condition with you all your old thoughts, it may not be workable for him. So he is not going to accept it. He or she, whoever. Okay. The kid will show one face to you and it will show another face elsewhere. <laughs> so what is kids are sweet smart. Of course, they know how to take care of themselves. But still the parents have their own... And when it comes to finally marriage, <clears throat> they say you have to marry. Sometimes they will say yes. If they have already said that I am interested in somebody, I think the parents have to look into that proposal. Instead of having anything else, you can't keep saying we were born in this family this much greater, these people are great, those people are great, my father was this, my grandfather was this. All that blowing trumpet is not going to be of any use to you. Hey, he wants to marry somebody or she wants to marry somebody, you have to, if you want to really be with them, you have to get them married the way they want. If that is not successful, don't take the line of argument that arranged marriage is successful. There are so many arranged marriages which is a failure. There are a lot of love marriages which is a failure. Please remember, in arranged marriage, on the day of the marriage, both the boy and the girl are very good. After that, so many things will happen in the family. Whether the elders, if suppose they are still living jointly, whether the elders now are able to convey the right things to them in a proper way and whether they are receiving it in a proper way, even normally if the elders say the kids are feeling offended. <coughs> so they expect some language modulation and all. Elders do not know all these things, we simply say. And that results in a lot of hardship. That is the reason why once you get married, you get your son or daughter married, just put them somewhere away, not from you. Let them learn, let them grow. Okay, that will be much better. Yes, <clears throat> it is their life, let them learn. After all, right from the younger days, we didn't have much say today. Because everything was taken care by, in some families, both the husband and wife are, are working. So, what they do? Some uh, nanny will be there, some to take care of the kid. The kid is more attached to the nanny <laughs> Because by the time they come back, it will be like, it will be on the bed, sleep. In the morning before it gets up also, they go away. I have seen in some families because both are professionals. They don't have that work-life balance. See, suppose you are committed to your profession, you should not marry at all. I have seen a lot of people, great people. Please remember, they are helping the country. They are leading the country. Very great people. Okay. Highly knowledgeable. Totally dependable. They are all not married. <laughs> they serve the country. Of course, I don't decry marriage. I'm a married person. Okay. So, basically, please remember one thing. You should know. We cannot keep on insisting. Today, suppose per chance, somebody is going to be committed to profession, just allow him or allow her to be that way. Let them leave that profession. Let them be alone. There is no problem. They will find a happiness in their kind of life, in that their life becomes service. They will serve the country, they will serve states, they will serve so many things. Okay. There's nothing wrong. You know, don't compel them to marry. There are some people, I know some youngsters, they don't want to marry, their own reasons. They are doing a lot of service. Okay. But uh, parents want them to marry because their relatives are asking why he is not married with. He is not married, that's all. What, what to do? That is his choice. You go and ask him. Oh, you as parents, you are not taking any steps. All these are very provocative statements. You should not interfere into another family. First of all, and come comment to how they, they have to handle their children. It's not right. You handle your children. Don't be so nosy into others' affairs. Similarly, you also should not reveal everything to everybody. Okay, my son is employed here, my daughter is not necessary. 
Okay, little bit you can say. After marriage, you can say, yes, she is like this. That's all. After that, they grow. It is their life. How long we can keep blowing their trumpet? It's not possible. They have to grow. It's their life. So, in the evening of life, as you age, you must become more compromising by nature. Kids are not going to listen to you at all. Definitely, they are not going to listen. They will have some agendas in mind and when they talk, they will talk with that only in mind. So ultimately don't get to know what is there in mind. It's not necessary. Why should we get to know? Why should I get to know what my sons are thinking or my kids are thinking? Where is the necessity? There is no necessity. Let them live their life. They also need not know what Commonly we meet for some time, we may discuss here and there some small things. That person's marriage, you know, your brother-in-law is selling away his house. These are very normal. That's true. Some normal things we talk across as we sit in the dinner table. Sitting in the dinner table and eating together itself, that concept itself is gone. Today, everybody has got their own time. Okay. So keep these things in mind. Okay. Don't be too insistive. Don't make any provocative statement to your children. That will come back to you. All said and done, they are our children. Understood? Okay. So we can keep blessing them. Yes, suppose something they do very grossly, which is going to affect us, yes, we may say that also must be like sugar coated pills. If we are going to break the truth, even though it is truth, Satyam apriyam na bruyat. You can't uh, speak an unpleasant truth. Their action may be wrong. So that is the truth. But pointing out directly will be, once again, will be still more, you will be contributing more. So, like telling a story, sometimes we have to say, for that they should have time. <laughs> so, like these things are there. God bless you all. Thank you very much. Bye.